Where's your husband? In the hospital. Which one? Can he drive? Medical city for work. Do you have family there that I can no, give this key it's to? it's only him. He can drive. He just has surgery. Okay. Now I don't care. Corrupt law enforcement officers often believe they're untouchable, operating above the laws they swore to uphold. But karma has a way of catching up. Let's look into some instances where these bad apples finally met their match and got caught red-handed. Your penalty today is, I'm gonna put you in jail. On July 30th, 2021, pregnant language teacher Vilmaris Montalvo was rushing back to school in Fort Worth, Texas after picking up her husband from surgery. Adding to her worries was a patrol car tailing her for miles, in response to which she eventually pulled over. the car ma'am you're under arrest and don't make me pull you out what's wrong Turn the back. what's wrong why what do you, you think that you don't have to stop when there's a police car behind you with lots of siren on I didn't why do you, realize why do you going off. please have a seat you're under arrest you're going to jail get in the car please let me call my husband get in the car he's in the hospital waiting for me this display of authority was carried out by none other than Officer Reynold and his buddy. It's a shame that people like him are the ones we're supposed to turn to in an emergency when he's the one resorting to threats to approach an obviously bewildered woman. She's under arrest. She's going to jail for on a cash bond for failing to vacate the left the lane closest to an emergency vehicle and for failing to yield to an emergency vehicle. Tony, we'll just leave this car There's here. A... What is it? Okay. Walk off here. Okay. We'll leave this unlocked for now. All right. Is that no, don't tell it. Ma'am, I understand. Why do you think it's okay for you to do what you did? Why do you I think? I don't understand what I did. I've been behind you for five miles. I didn't realize you were following me. You I are forgot. not believable. I'm on my way to look at the hospital Do you have a? Where's your driver's license? It's in my wallet. Is this your purse? No. There is no hope for justice when someone lacks basic humanity like this. Clearly, the woman is being harassed. What if he were in her shoes? Would he still feel as proud as he does now? But Officer Reynolds's absurd excuses did not end here. You can make a phone call, ma'am. No, go, go ahead. ahead. Ma'am, I feel silly explaining to you what's going no, on. I'm You're an adult and you have a driver's license, so you know that when a police car gets behind you, turns on the lights and turns on the siren, and I stay behind, stop, you ask me to explain, I'm doing that. When that happens, you are required to yield, to pull over and stop immediately, not five miles later. And there are consequences for our actions. When we do something good, we're rewarded. When we do something bad, there's a penalty. Your penalty today is, I'm gonna put you in jail. And that's so that you don't think you can get away with this tomorrow. No. You're under arrest and you're going to jail. Please listen to me. What? Please listen to me. I realized right there on this, in that light right there that I have police car but behind me. That is not believable, ma'am. What's even scarier than Officer Reynolds' brutal words is that he shows no fear about his body cam footage being reviewed. This either means he's used to getting away with such unacceptable behavior, or these cops just don't care whose life is on the line as long as it's not theirs. I'm gonna put your hands in front of you, and you can call your husband and tell him what's going on. Come on out. Why would I do this to me? Please, release me. Get out of the car. I just don't know why you think it's acceptable to do what you did. You see all these police cars? You see all these police officers? That's how I realized how it was to Give me. me hands. Sit down. You can call your husband. You can come scoot in. You're still going to jail, and you can tell him where your car is. Nothing. We're good. She wants to leave. No, we're going to leave her up there. She said to leave it.
You want this, this one filled out? No. So what, can he drive? Medical City for work. Do you have family there that I can no, give this key it's to? No, only him. He can drive. He just has surgery. Okay. No, I don't care. It'll be good. Thanks, guys. No, ma'am. Thank you. Baker 14, 1015 to jail with a female on a cash bond. It was not a pursuit. 32544. Your incident has been updated. It's definitely the latter. They don't care. They'll have an innocent citizen crying in the backseat and still turn a blind eye. A classic hypocrite. That's what Officer Reynolds is. Adam 513, can you start? May throw this location. I've got a gentleman complaining that he's in pain. <laughs> Your incident has been updated. So you'll be in jail, you'll see a judge in the next four hours, and then you'll be released immediately. You, you don't have to post a bond. Come on up, ma'am. You don't have to post a bond. But when you get out, you'll still have to deal with your tickets. Okay. And I'm not accusing you of running from me. You are not running from me. You, the reason I, I pulled you over in the in the first place, come on up, ma'am, was because you didn't move out of the left lane. There were two. There were three police cars stopped on the, in the left shoulder. I'm sorry, did you realize? I'm sorry. It's my first time. It's going unbelievable. To this. I don't believe it. Come on up, ma'am. <laughs> Officer Reynolds should be fired immediately for his actions. Is this the code of conduct these officers are supposed to uphold ethically, morally, and mentally corrupt? Do you have any weapons on you? Do you have a pocket knife? What's in this per po pocket right there? Okay. What's that? My husband is calling. Yeah, answer the phone. Hello? What, the jail? Or where your car is? Here. This is 350 West Bell now. 350. West Bell now. West Bell. He had surgery. He was discharged. Oh, oh okay. They were waiting for me. Okay. A college degree. Yes, sir. And you have a driver's license because yes. I've seen it. And you're telling me, just be honest with me for this long. Just just be honest with me. You're telling me that you didn't know that I was behind you trying to make you stop no. until the red light before. I, I swear that it was an accident or something. I didn't think it was me because... Come on, ma'am. I was so close to not bringing her in. I was just writing her ticket. This man kept torturing the poor woman, reminding her of her husband and baby, both whom she was worrying about. Would you like me to take these, this key to your husband so he can get your car? I don't know. He's coming. He cannot drive. He's, he's, he's not able to drive. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Okay. I would tell you how you should have behaved, but you know that. You know that you should have pulled over. There's nothing I can tell you that you don't know. You're just not being honest with me. Being honest, I swear to God. I mean, I'm a Christian believer. I'm not lying. Maybe I was so distracted I didn't realize. No. I realized on the light. Just stop. Just stop. I saw you looking at me in the mirror. Only reason I'm not putting you in jail. I don't want you to think I'm lying on your face. I do think you're lying. No, I do I'm think you're lying. lying. Have a seat. <laughs> Montalvo felt wronged. Since the incident, she's had trouble sleeping or driving, accompanied by frequent anxiety attacks. 
In response, she filed a complaint with the department, hoping for restitution. Her dual complaint set off an internal affairs investigation monitored by the oversight office which ultimately led to a seven-day suspension of Reynolds. Body camera footage, internal interviews, and documents obtained by the report offer a window into how the relationship between the city's oversight office and the police department has evolved in the two years since the accountability program's inception. While Officer Reynolds was busy causing chaos for innocent civilians, the next cop wasn't far behind in terms of corruption. I don't consent you to walk any further. What was that? I do not consent you to walk any further. Okay. You got a gun? Yeah. I'm open carrying today, yes. Okay. Okay. In May 2020, a man decided to exercise his First and Second Amendment rights by carrying a firearm holstered at his side. However, this didn't sit well with someone in his area. Almost immediately after he returned home, an officer showed up at his front door. Can you identify yourself? What was that? Name and badge number, please. Huh? Name and badge number, please. Officer Barton here, Off Police Department. What can I do for you? I don't consent you to walk any further. What was that? I do not consent you to walk any further. Okay. You got a gun? I'm yeah. open carrying today, yes. Okay. okay. Well, I, I was just here because somebody called you guys in suspicious. I'm just walking around exercising my first and second amendment rights. Okay. okay. All right, yeah, ma'am. That's you got. What's your name, man? I don't answer questions. So, do you do you live here, or I, I'm just asking, man. I would prefer to remain silent. Okay. All right. Am I being detained? You're not. Okay. This is a consensual conversation. What was that? This is a consensual conversation. Yeah. Okay. I'll allow you to proceed. What was that? I will allow you to proceed. I appreciate it, man. I'm just trying to get your name, man. I like to know who I'm talking to. You can call okay. me sir, good citizen, boss man, whatever applies. Okay. Well, I mean, I know I share my information with you, so what's your information, man? Well, what's you're you? legally obliged to because you're a public servant. What was that? You're legally obliged to provide information because you're a public servant on duty. I'm going to put this out. I have every intention of picking it up. I'm not going to litter, okay? I'm going to put it on the sidewalk, just put it out, that way I'm not holding it. Okay, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not littering, I'm going to pick it right back up when we're done. I'm going to lock my door, close it. Okay. We're having a consensual conversation, I'm not being detained. Okay, everybody knows me man, so I'm just trying to, I like to know who I'm talking to. Yes sir. Huh? Yes sir. So, what's your name man? If I may ask. Well you've asked and I've answered. And you Again, I've got no ill intent, no ill will towards anybody. Uh -huh. I've got a Second Amendment right to walk around with my firearm. All right, I'm just trying to figure out who you are. You got, you got a gun, which I, I applaud you, man. It, it's okay to have a gun. Well, can I ask you something then? What's that? If you applaud me and you're aware that this is a Second Amendment right and you've... Well, I got a call saying there was two suspicious males in all black, so... Is suspicion a felony or a misdemeanor? Depends what you're doing, man. Well, no, suspicion is not a crime. Can I have your name and badge number, please? My name? And badge Officer number, please. Meyer, five two. Thank you. Officer Meyer, 52. So, yeah, man, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. I got I was called in the area. All right. Yes, sir. So I, I don't know you. You you now know me. I said my last name, badge number. Well, I don't know. I mean, I know you as an officer right, of the law right, right. now. So. And, and I, I just like to know who I'm talking to. That's all. The officer couldn't handle the fact that the auditor wasn't obliged to give his name. Frustrated and feeling powerless, the officer desperately tried to regain control, looking for any way to push back. And we're, we're, you didn't tell me what you were doing. Yes, I did. I'm walking around exercising my Second Amendment right. Well, that's 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 yeah, literally it. That's literally all I'm doing. What's okay. your name, buddy? You can call me Good Citizen, Sir, or Boss Man. No, I won't call you either of those. You realize you have to identify yourself to a police officer? Have I committed a crime today? You have to identify yourself to a police officer. Have I committed a crime? I'm not required. Your identification? Yeah, you are committing a crime. Under what suspicion? What's your RAS? 
We were called out for a suspicious call. That's low right. Is suspicion a misdemeanor or a felony? You're to identify yourself with me on these calls, okay? I'm not required to identify myself unless I've co unless I've committed a crime. Identify yourself. You are required by law if we ask to identify yourself. So you don't look towards your gun. No, I'm uh making sure we're six feet apart. I won't look down. I won't move my hands. My hands are up here. Yeah, I see your hands. They're gonna okay. stay there. Listen, I do not consent to any search or seizure. This is my Fourth Amendment right. But if it may, if it, if, excuse me, if it, if it makes more you more comfortable, I will not resist you seizing my property from me. Your if property? It, what were you talking about, man? My firearm on my side right now. Okay. If it makes you, if it makes you feel more comfortable, I will not, I'm not allowing you to do so. But if you, I will not resist at all if you decide you want to seize my property from me and just put it aside while we have this conversation so you feel more at ease. You'd expect another cop on the scene to sort things out, but it seems these two officers have a collective IQ that rivals a doorknob. The auditor certainly makes it seem that way. We're, we're just, I just got a call that there was two males wearing all black. I didn't, there was no firearm in the description. I was just two males all black with a camera so that's that's what i'm trying to figure out i happen to see you two so buddy. which part of that is suspicious or illegal I, i'm trying to figure out what was so, ah, so so suspicious about what you guys were doing well that's up to that, you to discern that's, and that's what we're trying to do somebody so thought you guys were just ah, it's that's somebody suspicious. Somebody. Well, no, it's not suspicious. I don't have a legal obligation to. You have a legal obligation to identify yourself. Can you give me that statute? I'll be more than happy to look it up. For Please you. do. So. It's absolutely shocking that the first cop just can't let it go. He's still badgering for the auditor's name, even resorting to some ridiculous logic. But the auditor sees right through it all. I want to know who I'm talking to because I don't want to call you guy or you know. You know, a lot of people get but heard about things like they don't want to get called. Oh, well, so, like, let's assume that I don't get butt hurt by this. And, but, and, and also I'm doing an investigation right now. So yes, sir. I would like your name to put on the record put in for the paperwork. Report, yeah. yeah. Well, that's all, man. Well, if I'm not committing a crime, then well, how are we to know that you don't have a felony and you're carrying a weapon? If you don't identify yourself, how are we to know that you're not committing a crime? What reasonable suspicion do you have to believe that I man? It is not my vehicle. Okay. What reasonable suspicion do you believe that I am committing a crime right now? He told you right now what we're out here for, okay? Right. We are called for suspicion. Second Amendment. We are legally mandated to find out what the suspicious activity is, okay? Yes. What reason do I have to trust you now? You're not going to even tell me your name? Well, you have no reason to distrust me. I have every reason to distrust you. Well, why is that? I'm not committing any crimes. You're not cooperating. Well, I mean, cooperate with what, though? I'm not committing a crime. With our investigation. Well, I'm not required to oblige, I'm not obliged to help you with your investigation. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm just sorry. Yes, sir. Now, this is where the third officer arrives on the scene. And look at his competence. He resolves the situation in less than a minute. This is the difference between a real cop and those who just spin tails. Just exercising my rights. If exercising your rights makes it more, if, exer if me exercising my rights makes it more difficult for you, then what's the point of you enforcing any rights? You see what I'm saying? So, so scream out the amendments and all that you know we have a job to do man yes sir we just can't let did you swear an oath to defend the constitution when you took okay. your job what was the original complaint suspicious two suspicious males with a camera okay. wearing all black so that's all i got well black's just a color okay were you on the sidewalk yes sir did you try to go into buildings no sir were you just walking yes sir okay you didn't yell at anybody Nothing i like didn't that. say anything to anybody okay who called this in? No clue. No clue? Okay. I was just dispatched. Where was he at when you approached? They were right here. Okay. Same another guy. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll we'll explain. Leave our job here is done. Yes, sir. So. Thank you. Could I have your name and badge number, please? Yeah, Officer Vance, 75. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Take care. Yep. You guys have a great day. And just like that, the boss demonstrates his mastery. In under a minute, the officer, well versed in the law, arrives on the scene and swiftly puts an end to the incident. What a standout performance. And that's the end of today's cases. Although we do wish the officer in the second one would have been there to put Officer Reynolds and his antics into place. Let me know your thoughts on these tyrants who think they can get away with anything. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.